militia. Uh, the sister whose uncle is married to a non-Muslim and the son is not really on the straight path and so on. And she's inquiring how to give them da'wah. Uh, on uh, the last episode, Sheikh Yusuf spoke in details about giving da'wah to non-Muslim families or family members who are not Muslims or not practicing Islam. And I would like to remind what our duties towards others, whether non-Muslims or Muslims who are not practicing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have ordained. Number one, al-balagh, deliver the message. Inform them, but properly, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed. أُدْعُوا إِلَىٰ سَبِيلِ رَبِّكَ بِالْحِكْمَةِ وَالْمَوْعِضَةِ الْحَسَنَةِ If I'm not an eloquent speaker, if I don't know how to phrase myself properly, uh, pamphlets, brochures, cassettes, audio, video materials, books, booklets, da'wah materials, keep sending them, you never know. One day, they may end up reading this message. And mashaAllah, nowadays, there are tons of da'wah materials. Choose whichever one you like, keep sending emails, messages, books. Uh, whenever you visit along with your gift, some da'wah materials, this is one thing. The second, if the uncle is Muslim, remind him with his belief, with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expects from him. And the shortness of this life, and all of us, we have to prepare for the hereafter. And his responsibility towards his son. Now his wife is not a Muslim. Uh, he's not responsible for the guidance of no one. But his son is his responsibility. He had to grow him or upbring him rightly. Because this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in ayah number 6 in Surah At-Tahreeb. And not to forget Sister Zahra, the most powerful uh, and the sharpest uh, mean in this regard, which is ad-du'a. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to his most beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said in Surah Al-Qasas, إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءْ I wish it was simply by making extra effort you can guide people, bring them to guidance, but this is not the case. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you guide not those whom you love, and he was addressing whom? He was addressing his most beloved, Prophet Muhammad You guide not those whom you love. It is only Allah who guides whomever he wills. So you can make your homework. Make dua, ask Allah to guide them. Uh, give them a reminder, frequently reminder, as I mentioned earlier with the different and various uh, da'wah tools. And uh, if you invite them over, if you come over to visit you or if you visit them, it's very important and recommended to make sure that in the gathering there is somebody who's aware of the deen who can deliver the message as well. So it will be pre-planned. Hopefully Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will benefit them.